probably your mother. We'll go exactly with the boss. We'll go exactly there, whatever you say, whenever you. No, say. no, ma'am. I'm, I'm totally okay. So, if you permit, can I start? Yes, please, please, please. A very good afternoon, everyone. I welcome you all to today's session on prototyping. It's a great honor to have among us Mr. Zafar Ahmed, an alumnus of Jamia Millia Islamia, 2008 batch of BTEC CS. He pursued his MBA in IT from United Business Institute, Belgium. He is the co-founder of AI Digital World Private Limited, Singapore, an entity registered at the United Nations Marketplace, focused in enabling technology for conservation of national parks and wildlife. He is also associated with many other startups, either as a pro bono consultant or have investment interest to assist them in scaling up to next stages of growth. We welcome you, dear sir. It is indeed our absolute pleasure to have you as the guest speaker for today's session. I would also like to extend a warm welcome to Professor Simi Malhotra, the president of Institutions Innovation Council, Jamia Millia Islamia, and the director of Center for Innovation and Entrepreneurship. We also have other distinguished professors and IIC members. I warmly welcome you all. Now I would like to invite Mr. Zafar to share his experience. Uh, thanks, Madhya, for uh, the warm welcome. In fact, a very warm welcome. And thanks, uh, Simi Ma'am, for giving me uh, this platform to connect back with my alma mater. And it's absolute pleasure, I think around 17 years, right? So, yeah. It's long distance. Uh, so, uh, I mean, I've been trying to understand what Center of Innovation is doing. And in fact, some of the earlier presenters in the forum and they happen to be uh, my friends, uh, good friends, Zuhab. I, in fact, yesterday night I spoke to him, Sachin. And, and we discussed something uh, related to um, what have been planned, the ideation program that you have right, envisioned. So we discussed uh, briefly, and in fact, three of us have a close WhatsApp group where we would be discussing and how we can collaborate more cohesively with the right with the department and help. So coming back, the, the, I mean, uh, I'm, I'm based out of Singapore since last 10 years. And prior to that, I was in California Bay year. And the organizations that I've worked in the past includes uh, uh, CSC now, which is DXC Computer Science Corporations, where I was campus recruited from Jamia. Again, thank. That's that's the big thing for any one to have got that kind of kick start in a career. Later on, I spent time with organization like Wipro, ten years in Apple, both in California as well as in Singapore. Right, so cognizant, and uh, I'm I'm now my my endeavor is to uh, do uh, explore other dimensions. Right, it's the road least traveled those kind of things and that's that's how <clears throat> we see the things now the, the the subject that we need to touch upon today is prototyping and i was wondering how to start right so because most of the folks are aware the basics what needs to be done how the startup mindset basically if you are envisioning to have your own organization and how how you want to scale up your persona going forward so so the one thing that I came and I tried to understand the audience first, right? Because you 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 try to be contextual rather than disarray and where we need. So let's let's set up one thing that let's make it as much interactive possible. So Simi Ma'am, that's my request, if that's possible. Because I I, I personally hate to to be a, in a to be in any monologue forum. It it always has to be a multi log dialogue, right? So we. We understand uh, what everyone else is thinking, and am I making sense? Uh, because my experience probably would be different than uh, many of the folks over here. So I'll try to be as relevant as possible. So uh, when when we talk about prototyping, right? So it, it doesn't start with with some physical assets or technology. Or it just starts with a mindset first. Right? So and 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 take an example. I give a very a, a very valid example where you every one of us can relate especially those old days who were born in 80s and 70s. Uh, the old movies or in your personal life, uh, someone you had, uh, I mean, you, you, you loved in your teenage days and used to write a letter, right? So in the olden movies, the character is writing a letter, tearing apart and throwing away. And the second letter just a start and then tore that apart and throw in, in a trash bin, right? 
after multiple iteration of those letters and they, they zoom in the camera in the room and you see lots of trash papers are lying here and there. Finally, he gets to the final letter, right? And then he writes to that. And even more often, he gets rejection out of that as well, right? So, so envision this prototype and, and design thinking coming from that narrative. So we, we, we go and start building the things. Something comes in our mind out of the passion. And, and we focus all our attention, energy. And then after days of hard work, we realize, no, it's not working. And, and that, that voice is very visceral. It comes from deep in the heart. It's not like, I mean, then we do keep doing the things, keep repeating all the things. But eventually, I mean, we keep saying, no, not, things are not working. So, so that's how we start. Uh, uh, putting up the pieces together, what is in our, in the framework of our mind. And, and, and that's a natural way of doing things. I have, I have slightly different way uh, of thinking the same thing. When, when people ask like how to spot an opportunity, right? We often see this uh, uh, very, very famous conversation. Let's try to solve the problem, right? So are we going to invent the problem and then solve it? Or are we going to spot the problem and then solve it? There is a third category where I have seen majority of the success coming in. You encounter the problem naturally. You, you are not, you are doing something, but you end up like, you have been observing, you have not seen that thing, that garbage collection and, and the waste material disposal system. It has been the day you started playing in the streets, but you never realized over a period of time, you understood, okay, this is something is really a problem, right? You're not thinking, you never thought of having a startup or your own company. But you accidentally came, it's just a Eureka moment, right? And realize, yes, this is something I should invest my time and energy. These kind of these kind of things have often seen more success compared to other. Because these are the things they are naturally coming to you. You spot them out of no intent, right? No preconceived notion of solving the problem in mind. And then what happens is another thing comes and kick into it is your passion. Because it has come naturally, a passion for that comes into it. Because you are not thinking about a big company or earning money or something. You are progressing gradually in that direction. Right? And, and then something is, and what happened in that case, you don't look for it's at 1 a.m. in the night or you have to wake up 5 in the morning. That doesn't bother you. And I give an example what passion is. Like passion is you see someone having 20 lakh bike and, and you say, oh man, you should have got a big, good car in that money. He said, like, shock body cheese, right? So passion is, is, is all about that. The, as often it happens, others can't interpret it in a way you yourself interpret that thing. So that is the stepping stone of uh, first thing, any, anything that comes uh, before the prototype, right? Before you put in that thing. Now, when, when the idea generates in your mind, it always generates in your mind, right? And, and you need to think that is the fantastic thing that we have been gifted with, brain. Nothing in the world, and, and that's make Obama from a person not getting an entry in a restaurant to the president, right? Right, putting your brain in a right direction. And why I use this example, a lot of us see problem first. I mean, my personal problem, my, my fan, family problem, my financial issues, they are there. Now, we, we don't want to get out of them. We, we, we can't do a certain thing. Like, if it has to rain, it will rain. It's, 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 my, it's my destiny that my house is located in a person very trend very often. That cannot be my problem statement. I need to mend fences, look for the cover, and, and envision my life that way. That's not a problem. That's the ecosystem around me. I cannot say, that, okay, X person, his parents have got lots of money. He have a liberty to fail again and again, which I don't have. And, and, and I call this taking extraordinary responsibility about yourself. Why I need to uh, uh, just frame this in, in a different, because it must uh, uh, connect with you. Uh, I give you an example. I was reading a book and there was a story which talks about extraordinary responsible. One fine day, um, I, I, like Madhya woke up in the morning, right? And she, she has to go to the college or, or for work or studies. She opened the door and she found a, uh, an infant baby lying at the doorstep and crying. Now, she can't say she was rushing, like she had something very urgent, probably the interview on the, she can't say, oh, it's what happened, what's God, what's this problem? 
the, the presence of that baby is not her problem. It is not prob her problem. It, but the moment she has seen security and the well-being of that baby is her responsibility. You understand? Now, how we see the thing, the circumstances weaken us often. We, we, we see the thing, okay, these are the things that, why me, right? Why me? I, I often like, I used to say, why me? I mean, everyone around me is getting what they want. Why me? But they say, oh man, why, why, why this baby is here? There's so many things. I'll reach and probably Simi ma'am will get <laughs> and, and class. And then I, I wouldn't be, so I would be explaining to all and that it's, it's not, so it's not your problem. It's, it's, but the moment you have seen it becomes your responsibility. So what I'm saying is, when you start up with something and you have an idea, you don't have resources, you don't have right people. Some people join you with a very, very positive note and they leave you in a lurch, right? And throw you under the carpet after having some nice dinners, coffee, good talks and all. These are uh, a natural a natural path. You need to understand them. And, and the moment you start understanding them, these are not the problem. These are the natural consequences. We have to fight out of them. And, and if, if everything has been so easy, everyone in the world would have been Bill Gates, right? And or, or, or that kind of, and why I took the example of Bill Gates. Read this book, Outlier. It's, it's a very good book. It, it, it gives you an, another perspective of life. We often see, okay, X person is successful, lots of motivational stories. It's not always that. Outlier says some of them are blessed with certain opportunities. For example, I, I live at the vicinity of Jamia Millia Islamia. Even though I don't have much money in my parents, but I have more chances to attend to a school or college than someone living in the, in, in, in the remote areas of Bihar or, or with the same kind of financial or family issues. So, so these outliers do exist in our life and that makes some of them successful, some succeed faster, some takes time. So these outliers, we must understand. And, and, and why I emphasize always, See, build, coming up with the idea is not, not difficult if you are living in India. We have so many problems, so many things to do. If I, if I say something for the Singapore, it's not, it's not going to true. We are just 5 million population. I don't know what the Delhi population, probably less than that. Right? So, so, so we, we, we don't have that liberty uh, to do so many things that uh, anyone living in India have now. You have so many problems, they, naturally you will have, you will come across. And, and these problems should motivate you rather than just derail you. When, when I was like, uh, I often t tell like my friends and, and why, I see how you are going to differentiate yourself from the crowd. If you're reacting the same way, behaving the same way, rona ho ta kele me jake ro lena, raat ko ro lena, kamra ban karke, but it let not reflect on your persona for a longer period of time. Okay, so that, that is one thing and it's, it's a life and, and we need to deal with the life that way. Now, some of you are working on the ideas and, and how, you, how you think that the problem, like you have the financial problem. Some, lots of people come and say, okay, uh, the first is when we have the problem, we, we don't have a fund, we don't have. If someone telling me this thing at the first meeting, uh, I, I see, uh, I mean, he's not gonna succeed for a long. You create an ecosystem. If, if suppose I have to give a fund, right? Yeah, the, my conversation with you in a way that you create an ecosystem which convince me that instead you asking me, I say X, Y, Z person, Miraj or Akib or anyone, are you willing to partner with me? I'm ready to invest. Right. And I have these kind of things working. Or maybe if you really want to uh, call out that you need certain commercial help or certain things that are derailing your progress, keep it at the later stage. Don't, don't, don't bring it in the first, second, third meetings. Second thing, try to find out a, a good mentor. If you are, because see, even me or Simi ma'am or, or Madhya or anyone, we don't know everything that exists in the world. We know we are just a granule on, on, the, on the big beach be, beside the ocean. Entire beach has to be explored. There's a ocean that needs to be fathomed. We, 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 we learn from each other. So someone who is experienced around you, get them on board, take their services. Uh, there's this guy who was starting a company here in Singapore and he came to me and he was working on some microbiology field and all those things. So, and he had two, three meetings with me and he wanted 
he was not opening up. He wasn't telling me. I said, boss, you have to tell, right? If you have an idea uh, and you have to tell someone, right? If you, if you believe you become a, a business guy, you become a coding guy, you become a sales guy, you become everything, that's not going to happen. Steve Jobs set up a company. He shared his vision and the ideas with the, with the close circle. Now he's no more. The company is running. You, you cannot see everything in isolation. And the, the success, the chances of success are, are dismal when you go in that route. So, so always make sure that you have the right people around you. They create an ecosystem which helps to thrive, which means they bring a networking, which we, we may not have. Even if you have a good network, what if you have another uh, other, 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 other legs coming into it and giving you a kind of more impetus? So I would suggest when, when you're designing a, a, a solution, when you're designing, looking for the problem, look for, before looking for the solution, look for yourself. Like how you reach to the problem. Are you just because everyone else is innovating, everyone is on a startup, you see everyone getting into that motiv motivational paradigm and, and you want to do the thing. I think that's not a right approach. Don't, it's, 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 there's a very good poem which lines, which says a line and, and don't, do, don't dance too fast. The music won't last, right? So, so take a pause and think. And one, one of my friends who came a couple of uh, years back and he had some idea, I said, okay, we will discuss three months back, after three months. He said, why? I, and he was very excited, lots of energy coming. Let, let it calm down. Let it sink into it. If you remain motivated in our next meeting after lapse of time, because time is, 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 is a very important factor. You often see someone is coming, okay, um, this person I really, I met, I really like that person. I mean, just amazing. She has great thought process. Four, five, six meeting, you are coming. Oh, no, she's not. I mean, I don't know where she come from. She has a different thought process. All of us are in pura perspective change. Same two person, right? So give time to sync up all these ideas and, and, and see uh, yourself. Because you are not doing anything. You're just keeping that idea in the brain. You remain excited even after that lapse of time. That means you are in it, right? Over a period of time, that exuberance should multiply. It shouldn't come down. If it comes down, that means you are not there. And, and they are the closest people who we are going to derail you first. You, you, you don't have everyone thinking like you do think, right? So, oh, I mean, believe if Mark Heroes out or if Apple would have thought that, okay, Bill Gates has already taken up the uh, laptop industry, why would I do it? That should excel, right? You don't know. It's a value proposition that you bring to the market. It's your differentiator that you bring to the market. That's going to make all the difference. So even a player exists and, and, and someone might have interacted with Antlers and Sequia and all those ones. So in, in Antlers meeting, if you are submitting your proposal for funding, they, they grill you like anything. I mean, I don't, I don't know how it, some, some people may be into the tears. I have worked so hard for three years, for four years, and, and this is what these guys are saying. They don't understand. No, they do understand. What they're trying to understand is, can we neutralize the risk? Can we bring down the risk as zero? And, and, and recently, I mean, I give you a very good example where you can relate risk thing. So, so suppose there's an election and I belong to a particular party. I will always have a confirmational bias that I'm doing good. I'm always doing good. There is nothing. I won't tick box all those things that are negating my, I mean, that may be the reason for my loss. So it, if, if I go that way for, for that kind of things, I start in an eco chamber mentality. Right. I'm surrounded with the people who are appreciating the things, even though things are not in the right direction. I'm, 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 I'm listening what I want to listen. So all those people who are right but critical will not get a space around you. Because you need to listen more about the things that go, can go against you. Listen more, more all those things. If you have an idea, you are ready with the basic framework, right? You have done something. For example, I say you are working on a search, some search engine or some mobile app, right? So you see what is not, what, what are the things that's not going to work? Forget what are the things that are going to work. Keep them aside, right? Because, because you already, you are not going to challenge your own idea because it's coming from you simply. If you're challenging at first day, that, that means you yourself are not convinced how you're going. 
start being critical how tailoring packaging and bundling this whole offering to the customer or perceived customer is is going to happen if i'm your customer and 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 i'm you want to sell me the product you see the possible possibilities of getting rejected by the customer and why the pers- this this rejection is coming so so what the what i intend to say is prepare yourself to fail before you go full throttle because at that time if you fail it will unnerve you it will derail you and it will kind of demotivate you you will not be going to get anything out of that so have and appreciate those people who um, who 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 are criticizing you believe me in my personal life i give an example i always give more credit to the people who criticize me they have been a fantastic people unknown to the unknown to them they have i mean if someone criticizes i take it like it's 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 a very good urdu poetry hai. like they said mukhalifat se meri shakhsiyat samarti hai main dushmanon ka bada ehtiram karta hu right so so you, you you approach i mean you are meeting probably a different kind of person today but i'm taking you to the different path altogether reason being i'm seeing again and again the the students coming up from the college and going into the startup they surrender very soon and very fast and these are the reasons why, why they surrender keep people are criticizing you people don't i mean it's your life there's one life we all have right do whatever we want to do let it fail i mean we born with no clothes at least we we have a certainty that we'll die with a shroud on our body so so so, so we are we are we, so so think of that way i mean and don't think that everyone in folly line as per your own expectation that's that's very important and when i am doing i was working for apple and it was a big i think multi million dollar program that we were rolling out here uh, in this part of the world in asia pacific and so china is a different uh, thing when it comes to in terms of uh, kinds of restrictions and the data policy india do have the very strong data policy but leniency is, was there and philippines and the countries so i was dealing with with various uh, uh, these elements how we transit i mean there are two kinds of securities from the it people know data on transit and data at residency right so simple aapka khat koi leke ja raha hai raste mein phad karna pad le aur jahan pe ja raha hai wahan pe misuse na ho so this is what you understand data at transit and data. so i mean everyone was kind of giving up on on certain approaches and i was like a frustrated and i was prog- program managing all the that initiative so in that i i sit down with one of the person and said okay see the, these are the things and we we should mark them and these are that we should not and let present to the leadership team and see what they see and address those point so there are two ways i can present to them benefits i think they are not interested at, as of now let's present to them their objections what are their objections and address them first so always always the go that route it's unsettling it's painful because but but if you if your mind is built inherently to deal with those situation you become an extraordinary person in addition to what you are going to achieve in part of your endeavors whatever you develop whatever you innovate and and, and i take a pause and before i end up last point uh and i believe we have the mixed audience uh, seeing my right uh, from from the technology from the business from the social science so so don't don't see that every innovation and everything happening in the it area is not true you 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 can't have everything i mean everyone is building an application hundreds of application are being built every day and launched on app store right and but, but it's, it's it's not that 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 has lots of scope when where you can do in in other arenas also right and and what people are missing here uh is is they are not exploring some of them just give up everyone is technology i am not a technocrat i cannot do i know these two girls who are in us they they educated there and they, they were from gujarat and they launched this product this they call is um, beauty product and i was approached to help them with a store in delhi which eventually i didn't because of my own reason but they were super successful in that right so it's it's a beauty product you don't need to get technology first you need to get into it also got a different area there's a, there's there are the people who name who i know they are working on some specific oil uh, product right it's, it's it's just a product which is which has nothing to do with the technology and they are tapping the rural market similarly you can uh, uh, have some 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 those are sort of so don't don't have a unidirectional approach 
in in a country like india there are so many ways you can think of and do so many things right it's not alone so if you are not coming from the uh, technology background i don't think that's any disadvantage to you in fact i would say that's an advantage to you because technology anyways if you are not or you are not uh, in that uh, because even you, you know if you do mechanical engineer civil engineer there's always a job as a software engineer for you right so so technology anyone anyone learns the technology very fast the disadvantage is for us from the technical people i tell you why 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 it is true because if madhya is doing uh, something in in political science in mass communication she is going around the technologies right she is she is interacting in one other but people like me uh, uh, if if someone is deep into the technology and you activate a conversation along around uh, adam smith or max miller or or right malthus or or new so so they are naive to all those things so i always say like people who are non technical they know technical technology and i see lots of people uh-huh. students right or ma students they are coming and doing the disruptions so don't don't tie your passion always it may happen in certain cases always with what is your educational baggage is delink yourself passion is diff- and all together it doesn't have to do with uh, what is your education background certain background do give an exam uh, advantage if if i did my btech in computer engineering i would understand the coding better but as an as, as an innovator you don't need to understand the coding you can hire some people to do that for you you have just a brilliant idea right approach solid value proposition so i take a pause simi ma'am and i think i would prefer to have more interactive session if there are questions i would like to have and if people can speak fantastic madhya uh, are you sure yes. this ma'am shiva has raised her hand so i think she can ask the question yes shiva you please go ahead and ask the question first of all so thank you so much for sharing these information uh, so like as you said that if you are not uh, from a technological background but you want to start something like which belongs to a technology like any website or something else and it is based on a single idea that is uh, not in the market yet but Uh, you are still afraid that if you tell it to someone and what if someone will copy it and launch it before you will do it then uh, so it's a natural problem that came to me so that's why i asked you yeah it's it's the same what example that i gave you right so it's it's not you have an idea but you need a team the teamwork is very important without that i don't think at some point of time you have to deal with that fact but i mean You you don't need to have someone just completely outsource and just do it and have, you can bring him as a part of your inner circle, and and say okay you I'm not employing you I'll give you X percent of share and in in that way you will get more commitment from that person. In fact, uh, uh, two weeks back, two months back, I was discussing with some of them. I had some idea which uh, I would wanted to work in that. I shared that idea. I mean, I I wanted three different kinds of people. Someone will well connected in India, very social. someone who is uh, a supreme court lawyer especially uh, from the criminal justice system right and the other one techy i said okay i'll i'll onboard you with a share and i'm going to uh, because my idea is not bulletproof if i can't share that simple that's who am i right not all the ideas and so don't go with that keep moving right so no one is going to copy uh, someone would be in the world doing the similar things rest assured it's a it's a huge population across the globe and often i thought okay this is the one idea and i i i share one thing shiva this is very good in in one of the antlers they are the silicon based funding uh, they said don't try to bring something which which is completely new most likely you have to put lots of effort and the acceptance rate would be low try to see what already exist and and, and not in 100 percent or totality probably 20 25 percent of that exists in one or the other form and try to ride on that wave that's where you you don't have to do much lot of marketing on that thing like i was one of the ideas i was going through that was submitted to the center of innovation i know that uh, that 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 idea does exist in the market in fact i have explored that in and and there's nothing new but i i 
Mark did call it CBM, and, and because I want to discuss with those uh, folks uh, how you are going to present it, and it makes more intriguing for me because something already exists, showing it in a different way. I have already inputs about that. I know much more about the thing. So Shiba, don't uh, uh, get scared of that approach, right? Do you need to? Uh, there is no way out. You can't do everything immediately. For example, I know tech, right? I don't code. I need people to code for me. Anyone who is coding immediately get to know what's happening, right? And I need people from the sales and the marketing. But I don't want to uh, engage them, just to, uh, use them and uh, on on commercial basis. I would prefer to have them in a partnership basis. Give a five percent stake in the organization. That would be motivated and also that will save your money. You don't have to pay them. You say let's uh, come up together and work on this idea. We fail together, we succeed together, we swim and we sing together. Whatever happens. Did I answer you, Shiva? And even if someone, if you have, if you still have something that you want to take forward, um, come to us, see me, ma'am, and I'm here. And and that's the reason I'm collaborating with Center of Innovation. I'm sitting here, in Singapore, no intention to live permanently in India. So I'm the last person who will be copying anything if you have something especially designed for India market. Uh, sir, we have another uh, question from Fatima. Uh, sir, her question is, could you please explain how to form a good team? I always end up alone. That's a very good question. I think I covered this point also, right? You come, lots of people come and join. Some you just uh, uh, throw you under the bus and they go away, right? So so you, you, you don't need to have a um, team just uh, start recruiting uh, immediately, you tell them. You need to spend some time to understand the person. Right? So if I know someone, I uh, I would know what kind of person he is or she is. So try to understand the person. Forget other things uh, as a part time a business. Try to understand the person. He is motivated or not? Is he a person that who can go well with you? If he's a person who would accept the disagreements in a very very honest way, in a cordial way. First, m most important thing: see how the person reacts when you disagree. Just activate some conversation over a cup of coffee. Forget first like. A person wouldn't know like why you are talking to a meeting, her or right. Invite for a coffee, just have a cordial conversation, and activate some of the topics which are controversial, and try to test the person' patience. How how malleable a person is, how easygoing a person is, and then recruit a person that way. And I'm, I take lots of interviews, and, and often it happens that I don't ask the direct question. I ask lots of so sideway questions where a person wouldn't uh, comes. I mean, let a natural self comes in front of you, and then uh, you go with them. And always keep some levers in your hand. Always don't give everything, so that even if a person abandon you, you have the control in your hand. I think that this was like one of the most important questions needed to be answered because. Everyone like uh, who is going to do a startup has this question in his in his or her mind and initial says that uh, how will I form a team and how will I go about inviting other people? I, 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 I give an example. I am sitting here. Um, uh, for me, offshore team is in India. It is in Delhi. In fact, I haven't met after two years of working with them. I met one that was a delivery head there whom I recruited. Uh, this uh, February, February 2nd, February 1st, this year, February 1st. And I, because I, see, it's it's what I say, it's, it's very visceral. It comes from you, your experience, how you want to recruit the person. And I offshore the work. I just saw, got the NDA signed from them and I pass on the work and uh, we started. And after two years, I happened to be in Delhi and I said, okay, let's meet, have, have a cup of coffee together. And that's what. So, so it's not a, a, a process or it's not something that you can get immediately. Over a period of the failures let you learn lots, then success doesn't let you learn more. Uh, failure, the more you fail, probably more you have tried. Someone who hasn't failed much or hasn't, that means he hasn't tried much, right? So it's okay to have failed. I think these six years, seven years, eight years, nine years, 10 years, 12 years, 13 years, 14 years, 15 years, 16 years, 17 years, 18 years, 19 years, 20 years, 21 years, 22 years, 23 years, 24 years, 25 years, 26 years, 27 we, we have this trust deficit always coming in. People will start looking for the greedy, greedy perspective and avoid them. It's, it's good for you if they leave early. Apply good filters for them. Don't get, I mean, thanks to yourself that you identify right in time without investment much of your effort, money, or uh, first of all, foremost important is your trust. Thank you, Hansa. You can go next. You can ask Good afternoon, sir. Sir, so, I am a second second year mechanical engineering student. Then I wanted to ask, sir, 
so what is the right path to be a good entrepreneur uh, for example sir i i i am flexible in doing coding also i am also flexible i am in the pr team of sa so 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 what will be the sir, right thing next to do to do for for the uh, for the successful entrepreneur yeah so so first of right thing to do keep attending these kinds of events keep involving yourself with all the conversations going on around there you are in second year you have two years to go right so until you pass out uh, uh, by that time prepare yourself well you have the liberty uh, to fail more than i think lots of us in the forum you have so many years at your disposal so attend uh, as many uh, these kind of forums as possible learn and and and, and don't start jump uh, i mean immediately that you you come up with the idea and start building something right let's let's have lots of lots of knowledge with you understand what's going on the market and take time for that one year i mean by the time so set up the timeline say after fourth year you don't want to get a job you just want to start something so by the time you end up your final semester you have abundance of knowledge which you can leverage upon when you start looking for your own uh, startup so don't 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 speed up the things before time let 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 your yourself understand what's going on there are lots of things i mean we often hear for the success we we don't get to know what is failing if some startup is success you you see everything is there and but you don't know the 9 out of the 10 who have failed they failed often because the lack of right strategy they rush things too fast too soon so try to get things uh, first into the learning mode and learn the things which you believe are not working and and we ourselves don't learn everything we it's a small life for us right nowadays is life expectancy has for the short enough so we learn from others so next two year focus on learning from your professors from your friends and most important have a good friend circle and you are blessed to have if you have that kind of friend circle and and it's okay just to uh, to differentiate like who are the friend circle you can hang out just for the tea and the gossips and who are the friend circle where who whom can be a part of you can be a, they can be a part of your vision so you must filter out that right at the start in this this is a time for you by the time you reach uh, uh, i mean you complete your education you will be in a good shape anza thank you sir so Hello, we sir. have another question yes sir we have another question from masood alam masood you can go ahead yes my name is masood alam and currently i am pursuing french language from jamia so i have a question uh, what are the basic skills and entrepreneur need to know before doing a startup i love this question and 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 this is like you might get uh, 10 people will give 10 different answers for this question so none of them are correct you prioritize and reprioritize based on where you sit right so what what's your mental state and what's your readiness first is first is uh, curiosity you you need to be curious right so but what why how and it, i don't know it's a rise from we, we might have lots of people from um, medical science how our mind works there are cortex inner and outer and what what works first like what and and there's a book called uh, what do you call blink this book says often it happens the first thought that comes in your mind is always correct most of the time 90% of the time and it's it's a interesting book and i'm i'm quoting all these books because I, i read lots of books so i learn from the books from the people because i don't think that i know enough so in the, in that it says that what comes in your mind first suppose i should go to uh, that place or not and the immediate the internal my friends are pushing me to go there what comes in my mind at the first hand, dil kar raha jana chahiye but then i resist so you should i mean that that first thing is always the right thing in 90% of the cases so first is i mean curiosity you should be curious what's going on around you right whatever you are doing why you are doing and second thing is uh, go with the instinct right so don't look for logics all the time and since i can see that you are still at the stage where you can you have liberty to fail again and again so i always repeat this thing if you have that liberty exploit that right take chances and and not all of us have uh, that liberty to take chances in fact in this uh, gathering some of you coming from the remote areas of bihar and up where the first thing was your family pressure was do the engineering without knowing why you are doing the engineering like for me i mean when i was growing either do medical or engineering otherwise who is going to support the family 
right? So, so you may not need to be very instinctive. You need to see the first basics to be corrected at, at your personal and family goals. Then you come up. But if you have a liberty to fail and you have certain levers in your uh, based on your, what is available for you, go with that. Go with the instinct. Be curious and have an obsession for whatever you want to do. Thank you so much for the answer, sir. We have another uh, question from Mohammad Arif Khan. His question to you is that, how to be strategically correct for your plans? Like you have said, you came for idea and at initial you are very much motivated, but in the later part, the motivation goes down. And so does the idea drowns. So how to keep uh, things right and how to keep being motivated for the plan of the idea? See, very simple. I mean, if the idea uh, dies down uh, over a period of time, that's it's not going to work. It's you and your idea, right? If you yourself feel after three months, it's uh, like demotivated, the zeal is not there, the passion is there. I said, it has to be a geometric progression. Your passion and your zeal, it should increase with time. It's, it's depleting with time, just leave it. Because it's not going to work. Over a period of time, what happens is you... And often it happens just because this idea came three months back, I want to work. Don't force into it. It has to come naturally. I'm again saying again, 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 people who fail because either they are trying to copy others or they are over motivated with motivational speeches. They are not very pragmatic, right? As I said, there, there's a story, right? The, 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 there was the ship and the sea and there was one guy who was saying, how soon we are going to reach the shore? And, and the, the, the people said, we will reach soon. And the other guy said, oh, we'll reach soon. He said, how soon? And he was frustrated. The other guy who was saying very soon and he was thrown out of the ship because he was too uh, <laughs> optimist, right? So, and there was that guy is like, okay, we will never reach, uh, it's lost time. He was also thrown because I mean, he was too pessimist. You need to be realist when, when dealing all these things. And how you can be realist? If you see it's, it's not going well with you, you, your motivation is not there because motivation is your engine that will keep you rolling going forward. If that's not there, think differently i mean take take time revisit in, in again and again if if you see that it's not happening you 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 don't see the zeal just get it out of it think something different don't waste all your time and energy on the on the things where you yourself is not getting convinced when it comes to the time aspect Thank you so much, sir. I hope Arif got his question answered. Next, we have Vishwanath Singh. Uh, yes, sir. Myself, Vishwanath. Sir, can you share some guidelines, uh, principle, set of rule, or views during modeling of prototype, keeping objective in mind? So, uh, one thing is your when when you start, right? You you first thing of value proposition. And when the moment you see the value proposition to get there, you have the value proposition well defined. Just have a, think of the uh, sticky papers, right? You write value proposition that is there. Now to get that value proposition, what you want? You want the technology, technical team, uh, something to be developed. You have that thing in right in place. Then you get to know, okay, what I need? I need a market. I need a sales team. I need all these things, right? You have all the things uh, done. But what you are not doing and what you are doing to failure is uh you are doing everything from your point of view you're not assessing the competitors you're not assessing the uh the things that can go wrong so it's 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 always like uh, anything that has to go wrong will go wrong right so you, you know that's how the life works so uh and 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 so when you are modeling your your prototype you you do design you do think from your point of view first bring to your closest criticals uh, critics in your friend circle Okay, and ask them to review, and don't hesitate to uh, to accept criticism, and and slowly and gradually enhance the circle of that uh, critical people, and if you see okay, there are some positive vibes coming up from the closed circle. See this closed circle as your marketplace, yeah, where you are gonna generate revenue in going forward. You don't have a liberty at this time to have hundreds and tens of the people. Neither you would like to go because you are at the very, very in initial stage. So interact with them, show them. They will tear you apart once at some point of time. Whatever you have done as a value proposition is gone out of your whiteboard. Whatever you have done, sales, marketing, technology is completely gone out of the workboard. Then you take inputs what you have got. Come again, put all the things in places, fulfill all the blocks, right? 
So iteration will help you to go where you want to go. So progressive, elaborated way, that is your approach. And iteration is, is a very key to success. And if you are not engaging the people who are critical to you, you are default going to fail. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, okay, up sir. Next, Thank you. We have Shiba Sefi. Uh, sir, this happened to me most of the time. Like, yeah, Shiba, uh, before you, 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 you ask the question, uh, you didn't introduce yourself. So, may I know, like, you are a student, a student or you yeah, are? Yes, so sir. Okay, sir. Sir, I'm Shiva Sefi. I'm a student of Bachelor of Tourism and Travel Management. Uh, yes, sir. So, sir, most of the time it happened to me like uh, whenever I see something on social media that a person from the like uh, garment field or something other that succeed. Actually, my problem is that I get interest in everything. I am not sure about a single thing like if I am doing something good in technology or something else. Like I am also interested in coding. I am in marketing also, fashion designing also, sir. I am confused within myself. Like, what would be the right track for me? Like, what should I choose? I'm still confused. You, about you have, you, yeah. So, but, but you want to start something of yourself, right? Some some new uh, venture or something. That's where you want to go. Uh, sir, actually, you want to start up your own, uh, yeah, something of your own rather than being employed in this sector. Thing. Yeah, so yes, I think you are more you are more like me, which I used to be a few years back. I started a garment business. I started a solar company in India. And I have done and <laughs> dealt with all these things. Garment uh, in, in Singapore, right? But then COVID came up. We had to shut down that. So yeah, I've, I've tasted all these things. And uh, so it, it it's, it's natural. When when you are, you are you, you become restless, right? You, you think that you are good in so many things, right? And but uh, you want to excel, so it's, I mean you have to uh, think this way. You will do all the things, but let's one start with one at a time. You don't say that I mean, let's let's succeed in one of the of the time. I mean be an Amazon of the world. I'm I'm gonna have a marketplace to sell the product. I will have cloud services, right? I will have a whole lot of the. Uh, uh, customer service uh, uh, technology the platforms are available and i have uh, in, into the media as well i will be having amazon prime also so be an amazon of your own world and uh, like amazon didn't come uh, all of all with all these products one uh, right so they started uh, with something and they end up uh, with something else so likewise think of something which is very close to your heart where you see maximum uh, comfortable coming from you Plus, if you have some support group around you in that area, start from there. But don't think in 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 your mind that this is one thing that's going and the only thing. No, that's not the only thing. You you are starting. This is one part of it. You will come to another part of it later on once you success. You get the revenue out of it. You use the revenue from here and to start the other business. So it will be kind of very productive approach for you because you your passion is to have another business also while you want to be successful. Other business will start when you be successful in this. To link both this thing, the revenue from this will be the kind of fund for the other business. So so that's that change will help you uh, to streamline your thought process and also keep you going and not confusing you. But sir, actually there's also a problem that uh, my family is not supportive for me. They think that uh, uh, doing job or something else is not good. Like, so what should I do this? This is a real problem in our part of the world, and and uh, I understand this is this. So for that, I'm going to solve your problem immediately. Get in touch with uh, Simi, ma'am, and we will uh, talk to you later, right? And we are going to solve this problem for you in whatever capacity we can. So that's the that's that's a very practical thing that can commit here at least for you and your problem. We will uh, probably Simi, ma'am, will help you, and I'm here whatever way I can support. Thank you so much. I don't want center of innovation to be a, a, a just a, a forum for listener and, and I, I want to practically intervene in any problem any way I can help you. Sir, and I always I'm... wanted in fact to assist my, my alma mater and anyone uh, I pick up from any idea in future, uh, the, the association with uh, center of innovation uh, will always be there. For example, I give you an upfront, right? 
I had some ideas which I read. I want them to. I want to support them. I want to innovate them. But the 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 cog wheel will always be center of innovation. Either they have to come at a five percent stake of that. I don't know. But uh, I I want uh, all these things to be revolved around that. I love my uh, university, and if some way I can contribute, I will and I must. So Shiva, don't worry. First thing you need to connect with Simi, ma'am. We will take it from there on. I'm hundred percent sure we'll be able to solve your problem. You wouldn't know how we can. Sir, how can I connect Simi, ma'am? Like. Shiva, do one thing. Just like you can send a mail to e cell at the e cell at the gmail dot is dot in, and we'll contact you. Like we are kind of the student organization where we are connecting all these resources. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, you can share contact. my WhatsApp number, or she can call, or you know, whichever. So yeah, I'm just there on campus all the time. So yeah. Thank you so much. So could you please thank you? Come and thank visit. Thank you so much. Thank you. Come and visit yeah. us. There's no problem. Can you come and visit? Yeah, I mean, we we are going to solve your problem. I I I. I, you just connect with Simi, ma'am, and uh, I commit here in this forum, Simi, ma'am. Let's 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 solve these problems also. This is this is our duty, and I'm here. So much, sir, ma'am. So we have because uh, because uh, the center of innovation is doing really great job, and I want uh, this 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 forum, this this department of our university should be matching to any of the top-notch Indian universities. When we speak, we should feel proud of it. And how we do that? Not just summoning to the forum, but solving the problem in in a real terms. So, so that's what I'm asking you. If you have real problem, you feel challenged, but you want to do things within our capacity, whatever limits we have, we will definitely intervene and help you. Sir, I would just like to add to that that right now we are just doing the same thing that uh, the center of innovation. Along with this, the entrepreneurship cell and other cells like I Institute and Count It, we are kind of trying to make this center of innovation a one-stop platform for all the people in Jammu and Kashmir. That if they want to do a startup, just come to center of innovation. We'll help you out with everything. You want some kind of mentor? Yeah, I mean, we'll do that for you. We'll do like exactly. Just it's it's, it's all just the resources. that is why we are over here for the students to kind of kind of no, think that, of their ideas. That that's the whole idea is like we want to change our lives of the people, right? In in a different way, the world is evolving uh, and changing, and and it's all together different. We we are living in an instant gratification world. Like uh, new generation is like uh, on a flip of finger, you can watch the movie you want, you order the food you like, and you have the cars at your doorstep, and and ride on that. When I was in college, I mean, hope we had that those things. <laughs> So, so Shiva, don't worry, and and see me, ma'am, and she will connect. Uh, either I mean, I'm okay to help you, and uh, whatever possible, if you have some ideas, and I personally can fund that if that is the needed. Okay. But but center of innovation is is uh, is is going to its objective if we are solving the problems that you are facing or any girls of your kind here and. No one would understand better than Simi, ma'am, because she has said this also. I mean, and my my objective has always been that. I mean, I, I was pushing my sister to clear the IAS exam, and because when I was studying, I didn't have, and I'm from a Madrasa background, by the way. I first time I saw a major city when I was, uh, I mean, quite grown up. So it's not a time to share my history, but just for motivation, if it can helps you. I mean, uh, I I never had. I started. I my first thing was not a pen. We used to have this seta kalam. That dip in the ink and write on this the blackboard, and it's not like I'm very old. It's just like I come from the very remote age, uh, state part of the uh, India. And then first time I had my uh, train journey when I was uh, going to give NTSC exam, National Talent Search exam. I was selected. Then my 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 parent can't hold me like they have to send me anyways. So so we all have problems, Shiva, but we we navigate through all of this. So that's not a problem. We will we will we we we. I mean, if we solve it, it's not solving for you. It's solving for other. Helping others is not like it's more of helping myself. I see if I can help someone, it it's it gives me immense satisfaction, right? right? I mean, in the end of the day, we as a human being are serving something for which I mean we are supposed to. Earning money, doing a job is is often a priority for most of us. But definitely, we, once that is settled, we should look beyond that. We should try to help others and. Um, I mean, wherever way possible, everyone has a different type of music. Sir, Omar has a question. If you form it, then he can ask this question. 
Can I have it? Yes, you're audible. Yeah, so good afternoon, sir, and all of, all of you here. So my question is, uh, first of all, I want to introduce myself. My name is Umar, and I am pursuing Amtech from environmental engineering from Jamia itself. And my question is, uh, like we have said earlier also, that instead of inventing a new thing which is not market ready, uh, so innovate uh, or do something which is already 20 or 25 percent, which is already in the market. So again, like, yeah, market is already there. So my question is, uh, like if I am from my monitor background, I am just researching on sustainable sustainability, like plastic, how to recycle this plastic waste and all. So my question is, how to test our ideas and prototypes in both, if, if the market is in both in B2B and B2C? So it depends what what is your idea because often it happens uh, certain things cannot be uh, tested at our level, right? We we some some of the ideas would need a big intervention, and if if you are building something huge, obviously it, it it's you need to engage and interact with like that kind of organizations. But if you are doing something small, starting up, right, some mobile app or some. Um, some other problems that uh, in, the, in the physical, which is in our capacity and all. So, so, so that that's that's prototype would be completely different. So, first thing and foremost thing is like what you what what you are thinking about, like how big is your problem that you intend to solve. In sustainability, like I'm working with the World Wildlife Fund. Like if you see my website, uh, one of the customer that we have worked with, uh, and um, it's, it's a different uh, thing, but they are working lots of thing on that. And I have uh, currently we are partnering in Xiaomi, the mobile developer uh, line. So so we, we are yet to sign uh, MOU, uh, but we have developed a product which we want to partner with them so that software uh, with natively integrated with the hardware, these tablets, and we can offer the uh, customers. So so it, it, it is easy. That kind of prototype is easy. We can bundle it, package it, and tailor it, and uh, go to the market. Uh, uh, but if it is something really complex, uh, then it would require a different approach and uh, you need to connect uh, to, to the bigger organizations probably they have the platform available where you can go and provide their uh, your vision and send a couple of one or two pages and like in singapore uh, they do lots of these kind of uh, initiatives they say submit the ideas and csr uh, or department of the companies they do that uh, they say, okay, we have the fund for the social responsibility projects, and we want to see what is your idea. We will fund you. So these can look keep keep an eye on these organization, major banks especially. And when I say Singapore, they don't respect just Singaporean. And if if it's open most of the time to other countries as well. Recently, I saw in one of the things some Indian uh, students have won, uh, and and they were the top three, uh, and they traveled here, presented, and they were shortlisted. So all these things uh, keep an eye, and if as when I keep getting all these things, I keep sharing with Center of Innovation all those uh, competitions that are coming in my way. So so, so that they, they can give you a better platform to start other things. Thank you, sir. Okay, so sir Tapanjit has this question, and Tapanjit asked that Grafnul sir, sir, sometimes we have idea related technical fees, but as the person or the founder is not from the technical background, so he or she is not able to kind of make a prototype. So what should he do to make the prototype? And if he does not get the proper team, should he drop the idea? Which I personally don't think is a good idea, dropping the idea. So yeah, dropping can the idea. what he or she should do to kind of go ahead and make the prototype. No, the, dropping the idea is not. And as I said, uh, I mean, don't... Uh, be, uh, don't enslave yourself with, with your stream of education. That's not how things, I mean, you have the Harvard and Oxford dropped out running the companies and the Ivy League pass out are their employees, right? It's it's, it's not a gospel, <laughs> like something not hidden. It's, it's a very open thing. So never drop. You need to just what I responded to someone earlier. You need to build a right team. See, getting a right team is always as important as coming up with the idea and building it. So everything is a building block of your whole endeavor. If there's a team, there's a technical team, there's a finance team, marketing, sales, idea itself, you, your vision, all the things. It's, it's an amalgamation of too many factors. We often uh, converge on the idea. Uh, I have an idea. I have. I want to take it forward. I want to take it market. No, this is one part of the 10 things. Even having a right team is as important as having an idea. If you don't have a right team, you have a very fantastic car. 
but you don't have a driver and uh, so and you don't drive what's the use of that it's keep lying in the garage right so so think from that perspective and never give up i, I don't see unless you see there are other parties coming in your life and and you are bound to take the responsibilities of those in that case it's okay but if you see there's a hope and i don't believe that you don't get in in, in a country like india we say like you you randomly throw a stone high likely it's going to fall some of the uh, developer right so there are more developers than the retail shop in india so you you will you will get uh, someone right you just need to or, or you don't need to have think of the direct connection uh, and network well and and that's 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 very important thing have a linkedin account try to reach out to the person get out of the facebook account man if you are spending too much of time over there go to the linkedin account and, and network uh, early at, at early stage and network well connect with all the people like you see so many people here right try to connect some of these people you see uh, some of them introduce them as a btech mtech and all those and try to connect with them and of course you you go to the university and investigate uh, that who are the technical people here technical department start a conversation uh, go and have a coffee in the canteen like i used to, like jamia bt canteen and you will get some people so salam dua se start karo and then you end up having a good friend and in fact i met lots of friend like this and 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 for especially the foreigners and i'm i'm, I'm notorious like my my family i said see me i was saying they say every time i end up at airport they say I, i meet tens of people over there at any airport they say why you so many people and and that's that's what help in the long run be social be network if you want to be an entrepreneur uh, it's really herculean task to be without in your own cocoon of uh, thoughts right so it, Net, network well is going to solve the problem you wouldn't know the, how the problem is getting solved it's just the network thank you for asking uh, sir we have another question from mohammad arif khan and arif asked that okay while pitching what who you should kind of keep in mind for idea for the product while seeking for investment like he wants some kind of advice from you that what he or she should do while in uh, kind of pitching the idea to the investor uh, investment i i i, lo- I, I lost you in between uh, sorry no, uh, can sir, you please repeat the question yes sir so arif asked that can you please uh, kind of advise him that what he or she should keep in mind while presenting his idea while pitching his idea to the investor for seeking investment and this is i think i i already answered that question but i'm going to reiterate so there are few things that you always going to be asked in any investment meeting or something what are your differentiators how you are differentiating in your market right you come up fancy ideas all the things and everything how you are differentiating yourself in the market first thing like who are your key customers right and then these two question you see lots of questions coming up like what if you fail answer this question yourself write it down like what, what what if you fail this is very normal question right what you fail right we fail and uh, we most of us don't succeed in our endeavor and the first go right we fail and then what you shouldn't you just response like should be okay will assess my weaknesses assess the things that should have gone what 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 are things that have gone wrong right so revisit those things fix them and then come back so those those questions are 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 going to ask and believe me that will not be a very cordial conversation a good investor will always try to bring your risk zero that's 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 the first thing that i would do with anyone to at least to minimize the risk as much possible and if doing so there will be lots of questions around that what if so be ready with lots of what if what if you fail what if your uh, co-founder abandon you what if just uh, you met an accident you can't do much work for i mean do you have the leverage for that so how much leverage you have built what are your fallback plan are you putting anything like someone said like don't don't you aren't going to succeed if you keep everything uh, for yourself you need a team you need couple of good people to walk you along you see all the big companies founders and the co-founders three four people meeting together and then we get to know one uh, apple doesn't have only team to watch this movie on on apple evolution or or watch this movie nikola tesla so so these these things how they evolve over a period of time and i always encourage you read good books right watch this kind of uh, nikola tesla is a good example 
when the in in the in in the era of DC, how Edison was outbeated by Nikola Tesla uh, for for AC current, and so so all these things will give you like what are the real life challenges are there, and these people, these investors, they get these questions from from those experiences that others have faced, and they are going to knock you down with their question. Don't get enough. That is one thing. Have a good chocolate in the morning and go for that those investor meeting. Okay, and, and and don't get disappointed if you don't get funding from uh, one investors. They may not. They may, I, I know lots of companies and uh, the stories are there where these investors didn't support them and they end up being a very successful organization. So no one is going to decide for your success or failure. You and you alone are going to decide. Thank you for answering that. Uh, Vishwajit, you can go ahead. Sorry, Vishwanath. Sorry for that. Can you say, uh, say yes, some idea regarding uh, 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 price product? Uh, if I uh, if I go to market, how to test a price point of a product? Do you have any any idea about that? So, are you talking about the product as a physical product or or is uh, more on the service aligned? As a, as a physical product, and and you have a competition in the market, or you are, you are launching first uh, something first time which people have not seen. Uh, no, no. Uh, already product has launched but higher priced. But uh, suppose I launched the product in a lower price, then how to test uh, that product in a market regarding a price, etc. How, how to decide example. their uh, price to sell? Uh, uh, an example. Yeah, yeah I give okay. an example which is, is slightly divergent, but will help you answer. Uh, in in Apple Singapore, when they opened their own cafeteria, they had a small cafeteria, but then they opened a big. They outsourced to the five star uh, restaurant, and they had. So this five star restaurant, and uh, what they did is they initially gave coffee for free. So you see, and, and in Singapore, the culture of queuing is very much. So um, people will queue and they are patiently, patiently in a queue. They will be in queue for two hours and three hours. And you see the enormous amount of patients is there and maintaining a distance and they will be in a queue. So this coffee was offered free uh, because they were launching and they did it for two months for free. All of a sudden, one day, they, they put a price for that. Now. You get coffee is something you get addicted to over a period of time or a particular taste and at a particular time. And now you have been used to that and uh, you wanted that uh, coffee to be at your table side when you are working. So the queue size didn't decrease when the price, they put the price. After six months, the, they added more 20% or 30% on top of that. But it's still the queue was always there. So the learning here is you need to uh, give in, incentivize your customers uh, to, to, uh, to attract towards yourself. Get them know who you are. Because the price uh, sensitive market like India, if, if they don't, first and foremost thing is not selling, it's telling. You need to tell to the people about you, right? And, and how you're gonna tell that? Price should not be, they should be, ex and see, they are going to doing a favor to you. If, if I have, uh, I've been eating biryani in a shop in, in Zakir Nagar, and I've been always a good fan of it. But there's another shop that has come up. Why would I go there, right? The only uh, thing is like, okay, look, let, let's go and try. And why would I do if it's giving some good incentivizing that, right? L it's much lesser price. So you made me come into your corridor and know you. And that's that's what we call customer experience. And I'll get uh, some experience out of that. If it's good, which you will definitely make sure it is, because you are opening your store in front of a competitor or in the vicinity of the competitor. So so first thing is you made the people know about you. For that, you 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 need to absorb the uh, that that. Overload, overhead of the cost has to be your expenditure. You should not start looking for the profit for, for the margins or the revenue. So you bucket a money. We this is a marketing strategy. This is your this is your sales strategy. You, these people who will be coming to your uh, restaurant, they will be your evangelists. So they they will do the marketing for you. 
So instead of putting the poster, you you are attracting them through the price points and getting them know you. And and over a period of time, if you increase the price, right, to to start getting some margin on that, you will comfortable with that, and there will be no hesitant from your uh, dedicated and committed customers. They will continue to come to you. I think uh, go with budget from your sales and marketing and put it as a customer experience budget we call it right? and let them know about you that's the one step that people often miss he say okay one day sone ki murgi hai card to sare ande nikalenge don't go with that approach it's a gradual process convince the people that you exist let them know in your corridor have an experience with their product and and and, and that that's that's a good strategy that you should go with Okay, sir. Thank you. Okay, thanks for answering, sir. Uh, we have another question from Omar. I guess uh, you can go ahead and ask the question. Hello, yes, sir. Uh, sir, my question is like I have a website which is an affiliate website. So which is an which is an which affiliate one? marketing website, sir. Okay. So okay. so my question is sir like. Uh, Uh, what uh, what uh, the share your experience about this in like uh, if we uh, like my plan is to convert this website in a e-commerce in the future so my plan is like you know gather the audience like more traffic on the website and monetize through ads and convert it into an e-commerce so what's your share like, so so i have a counter question umar to you yes, do you really believe that seo works oh, the google seo or, or facebook seo uh, that people buy to promote their content or the website and manage the traffic on the website do you really believe that why i'm saying yes. so asking you because a few days back there was some insider of the google uh, revealed that it's not as effective as you believe and uh, so so often even without that you would manage enough traffic that way so so do you believe in that that it, it's very organic in, uh, in in nature when it comes to help your website navigate across the different audience yes i believe in it because uh, from the last 1.5 years we are in the market and we uh, our some of our uh, you know pages on our website they are ranking on top 10 and top 5 also top 1 also so i think organically traffic uh, can be grown and it helps yes so so that is that is one thing that you do uh, you are doing so which is but but don't you think your your reliance completely on that is is not a good strategy yes sir actually uh, you know doing an seo and you know it takes a lot of time but i think in the future uh, while the revenue gets uh, you know increase we can target through facebook ads and google ads that's a future plan Okay, I think so we want to we require we want to make uh, uh, people know our website and you know build a trust within them so that in future when the traffic increases they uh, they uh, they they buy from our website that's the plan it is it this will work or I, I just want to know have have you ever heard of geo fencing so geo fencing geo fencing no sir sorry. I I give an example. Probably yeah, we connect later, and it takes lots of time in the interest of time. So geofencing is like uh, I'm in Delhi, right? Fifteen uh, kilometer of radius. Mm-hmm. I should know what's happening. There is, uh, for example, an app. It connects me to everyone, everything that interests me in that radius. So there are certain other ways you need to do differently because see, uh, SEO, Facebook, and everyone is doing. Then again, my question is, what is different that you are doing? Right. Every each one of your competitor is doing the same thing. If you are doing the same thing, then it's not gonna uh, benefit you in differently. Of course, you will be part of that crowd, but you will not be uh, going to stand out in that. So uh, do some research on geofencing. If you can use that technology in some way, it's not a straightforward. It has to be in a different way. Mm-hmm. And and then if needed, like uh, I mean, I I can your just share your email ID here. Probably later on, I try to guide you. Sir, can I go on LinkedIn? Can we connect there, if possible? Yes, yes, yes. Definitely, it's always possible. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Okay, so I guess there are no more questions. Uh, so thank you for answering all these questions. And uh, now I'll take a minute to please go ahead and say a few words. 
Uh, what a what a tremendous session this has been, Zafar, and you know, for taking us so much time for your alma mater, for the center, for talking to the students, we are so indebted to you, Zafar. And you know, the spirit with which you speak is exactly what inspires us here in Jamia. You know, to know that we have students who've been with us, you know, 15 years back, 20 years back, 10 years back, who are still attached to the university and want to, you know, help the university and guide the university and mentor the university and also tell us you know because eventually we're academics you know who are in the university doing what we are but you're in the field and ultimately our students have to enter the field and you know they need to be guided by people who are in real time situations so the theoretical academic input certainly does come from us but i think interactions with you know people like you are exactly what will inspire the students to know that this can be my future too you know and so uh, so Zafar, I'm so grateful to you for, you know, being so readily available to us, for so readily coming to us and for being so ready even now to say that, you know, you'll do whatever you can for us. And we're really going to count on that, Zafar, and we'll come back to you. I'm really grateful to you, Zafar. I mean, it's been such an excellent session. I mean, you sharing your journey and then, of course, answering each and every question, you know, because, I mean, students have all kinds of queries about what they are currently engaged with, what their obstacles are, what they're encountering, you know, but to take out time and to actually address each one. I mean, that's been so nice, uh, Zafar. I mean, so generous of you. And, uh, you know, I'm really grateful, of course, also to the uh, to the East Cell of Jamia. You know, the East, East Cell of Jamia is run by people like Ayush, Madiha, and a team of host of you know, many, many, you know, students who've actually, you know, who have actually got together with them, even in the pandemic when the physical university is not open, but they've been able to cohere together like-minded people who are actually interested in the innovation uh, entrepreneurship ecosystem, you know, and they're building a team. And I really, I really think that, you know, once the university reopens, you know, there'll be a lot of vibrancy, which we will see on campus because of, you know, the kind of students that we have. Ultimately, they are the biggest wealth that a university has, and we are because of our students and so really i mean i'm really grateful to the ESL for all that they're doing and of course i'm very grateful to the all the members and coordinators of the institution's innovation council their presence their mentorship you know is something which gives us strength and last but not the least the pillar of the center that is shiraz bhai you know nothing works without shiraz bhai he's the one who's the one mover and shaker and does uh, immense amount of work you know and inspires us all the time but zafar we are so grateful really you know, we are so grateful. Pleasure is all mine. Going, yes. going back to Elma Mater is, is, is I, I can't explain in the words. And uh, the, the beautiful thing is uh, that connecting back with the students that we used to be, right? So, uh, I mean, we all are students of life. We remain with a student. And my, my my biggest passion is to go to the whiteboard and, and start. I mean, I used to teach to the students, not, I mean, to make my living. I, I started tuition from class 8th. So uh, it, it wasn't the easy to talking to the teaching fraternity. And I believe they are the people who are, I mean, what I say, I feel pain on certain uh, set of industries which uh, in, in our country are not getting the respect they deserve. Teaching fraternity, they are the founding blocks of a, every one of us, right? They're the intellectual capital is needs more appreciation. Uh, and I personally believe that. And they have to be... Uh, compensated, respected at par with the CEOs and, 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 and others of the companies, which is not happening. I don't know why, because if, if you start giving respect to your teaching fraternity, you become a more intellectualized society. And, and I see, I mean, I would see Jamia and that's how I see my university. Every time I go there, except this time, it was a very, very short visit. Weather wasn't good. I wasn't feeling well. Every time I go to the, uh, the hostel canteen, even today, people realize me that I don't know some of you know, Naim Bhai is still there. Um, and he met last time and he re recognized me. And so so it's it's different feeling uh, getting into the campus, right? So we just often I go with the friends and, and chit chat and a whole lot of the things. So that experience is uh, irreplaceable, irreplaceable with anything. I might have uh, traveled the world and everywhere. But again, the home is like where heart is, right? So Jamia Mila Islamia gave me uh, the, the platform, the launching pad, uh, which will help me and people like me will never forget. 
And I see lots of my, in fact, my juniors are in computer BTEC department that teaching Sarfaraz is, is, is faculty over there. So even even though they, they are my juniors and all, for me, they are the those emblem of, of knowledge and they will be like getting into the teaching, right? It's, it's not easy. It's, a, it's one of the thankless job. And I always, because my sisters themselves are teachers. So, uh, so, so I understand the pain that you have gone through, especially in this pandemic. Uh, taking the classes and when when the people are not trained, right? Our society is not equipped with bandwidth issues and here and there in the one family, two teachers, three students, everyone has. And so it's, uh, it's it's not easy. So thank you and thank you all the students for listening to me uh, to me patiently. And uh, if I uh, I mean if I made some sense, I'll be always uh, taking that with me as an asset as an appreciation but always available for any kind of help needed. And uh, uh, see ma'am, anytime you reach out to me, anything that mean, in fact, myself and uh, um, this uh, other folks, Sachin and all, probably connected. And we try to lift the, up the department, right? So, so let us know, I mean, if we can do something with the, some certain set of a student who has their ideas, they're struggling, like Shiva said, she has real issues and uh, intervention is needed. Definitely, we will intervene. I personally will definitely intervene. So, so not an iota of doubt. That's uh, life made it now, job and all those things is, is gone. We are, we are at the different level of Maslow hierarchy. So we need to serve the society and serve the students uh, community. Such is inspiring. Sorry, 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 such is very much. Sorry, sorry. Please, Ayesha, I'm sorry. Uh, sorry, it is indeed an honor for us also to kind of connect with as nice like you and talk to you like so nicely because we uh, we get to know uh, learn a lot of things from you. You guys have been over here earlier and you guys can actually teach just things which you don't know about. Many of us, like many of this audience over here, they are like they have never been to campus. They are the, they will come to campus the first time. So kind of interacting with people who have been here to our alumni, this is like a very important thing for us and a very kind of very helpful thing for us to know. And we, 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 are, we, 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 we are from the analog world. You are, uh, the current generation is a digital world, more digitalized, more connected, more avenues to do the things. So let's, let's, let's have that fire in the inner belly. Let's have that zeal. Let's not get demotivated because of va variety of reasons surrounding us. That's the only thing. It's a plea. I mean, you, you, you change the whole ecosystem. I tell you, I mean, you don't believe how different stuff. I, I give you an example. There are three people who contacted me uh, in last five years and they wanted to get a job in Singapore. I managed to pull them here. I changed three lives probably and, and three families' life, right? So, so look how we can make an impact in our own ways. And it's, it's super... Uh, feeling that we get it's nothing nothing no material thing can replace that feeling when you end up helping others and the other person realize the value out of your endeavors so uh, i'm always available and uh, probably unless i'm not traveling so see me man reach out to me for anything and uh, if if not in my capacity i will try level my best to get things done because I'm, I'm, i believe in doing the things rather than I mean, sermoning and, and I can give lots of motivational speeches, but am I re re really executing one or two things on the ground? And that's where I, uh, these are my matrices, I judge myself. Oh, sir, another thing that we, I know that you are right now in Singapore, but we surely like to like have you sometimes in the campus and interact with you personally, because it will like kind of really make us go to the next ladder that getting to you knowing you personally. And also you have like helped us so much giving your email IDs and asking people to connect you directly so that they can interact with you. But you know that uh, meeting person is no, something so, that... So, so center of innovation will always be a focal point for me. And that's I said, any, any uh, chapter that we pick up from there. So this will be a cogwheel. We'll revolve around that. And as I said, if I'm going to invest in some startup, that is startup has to engage center of innovation in, in some way. So, so that is very clear from my side because we, uh, I mean, that's how I can contribute in, in one of those ways. Right? And I, I definitely love to uh, take up some of the ideas, uh, Simi man. And uh, of the, I've gone through the ideas submitted earlier. I have marked some of them colored and I would probably um, uh, search in myself and others uh, I think we are planning for Sunday something. Uh, I don't know if that has been finalized or not. 
So uh, Zuhair probably uh, will get in touch with you. So let's let's keep moving one step at a time. And uh, if uh, and 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 again, my last word is: if you are not in from the technology field, don't get demotivated. I think you have more advantage than the technical guys, and and you don't realize unless you start uh, diving deep into the things that you would like to. So thank you, and uh, yeah, have a great weekend to all of you. Yeah. Thank Anything you so much, Zafar. You have a great evening ahead, and I hope you get that dinner that you were planning with your friends. They really. No. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I have, I have to go for a walk first, and okay. then probably. So it's a weekend, right? So yes, okay. right, right, right. Thank you so much, Zafar. So indebted to you. So indebted. It's, it's such a pleasure. No worries, and hope we meet in person. Yes, yes, yes. That will be a pleasure to actually welcome you on campus. I, I, yeah. Yeah, I, I may I may be traveling to uh, Delhi in, in in two two to three months time. So I'll give you a heads up when I, when I plan to do that. Certainly, certainly, certainly. We won't miss that. Thanks, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, everyone who attended this, and appreciate your presence. And hope uh, I made some sense to you, if not at all. Sir, actually, you made lots of sense, and it was like really interactive. Yeah. Very nice talking to you. Thank you so much for coming. Take care. Happy. Thank yeah. you. Sir. Bye. Thank you, Ayush. Fantastic. You and Madhya have such a great team. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you to all the professors and all the students who have joined. Uh, it is now we have come to the end of the session. Uh, I would just like to kind of reiterate once that we are coming up with lots of opportunities in the center and the entrepreneurial cell and then the institution of council. We have a lot of things on our plate we can, which we want to kind of you guys to away so please ask your mates your peers to join the group connect with us we have already put the links to all our social media handles and the whatsapp community group you can go ahead and join all these groups and get all the updates so please kind of just share it amongst the people who you think that are willing to join such things who have some kind of interesting innovation startup please go ahead and do so and thank you so much for joining thank you